How does a VPN work? You've heard of VPNs, but you don't know exactly how it works. This video will explain clearly and with live data so you can see for yourself what it does for you. Up next. A VPN or virtual private network does two things for you. First, it encrypts the internet traffic between your computer and the VPN server, which, if it's a public VPN, will be someplace away from you, and you want it away from you. And next, you merge from the VPN with a different IP address than the one on your computer. There are a couple of ways to use a VPN. One is to put the software for the VPN on your computer or you can have a router handle the VPN. I will demonstrate all this using bytesvpn.com. Some of you may have heard of proxy servers. Now, that is not the same as a VPN, and it works quite differently. I will explain the difference at the end. Now, let's look first at this chart. Check out the flow in number one. If you connect to the website directly, the website can see what your IP address is. In this case, it sees 100.200.300.1. And the ISP can see everything you're doing in that area that I marked as the ISP zone. Now, let's examine the number two flow. The first thing that a VPN does is encrypt your traffic up to the VPN server. That's marked in number two. Now, why is this an important point? Why not make your own VPN and install it at your house? That will not do anything because you will be encrypting your traffic only to your house. Then the traffic leaves your VPN, which is your house, unencrypted, and it does nothing for you. That's why there's no choice but to use a commercial VPN. It encrypts traffic for nearby observers. It needs to be outside the ISP's zone. Why is this important? Because your ISP can see what you're doing on the internet. The ISP records a lot of your activity. Also, a man-in-the-middle hacker can see your traffic as well. This is especially true when you're using a public network like at Starbucks or at the airport. In order to demonstrate this, I will watch my network traffic, or the term is to sniff the traffic, using a packet analyzer called Wireshark. This is a tool used by network techs and hackers to find out what's going on on the wire. So first, let's start Wireshark. This will act as a man in the middle. Now, Wireshark is listening to my Wi-Fi traffic. Next, I will open up a website. Now let's go back to Wireshark to see what data was captured. Let's stop Wireshark now. And here you can see that Wireshark was able to observe what I was looking at. As you can see, the website info is stored on Wireshark and it can see exactly what you're seeing. Okay, now let's switch on the VPN. Again, we'll start Wireshark and again, we'll open up the same website. I will now stop Wireshark and look at the traffic. When the VPN is active, all my activity is automatically directed to the VPN's IP address instead of direct to the website I'm looking at. So here you can see it's a little different. The traffic shows up with the open VPN protocol.
and all the traffic is encrypted. Most commercial VPNs use the OpenVPN protocol, which is open source, and it's the best protocol for VPNs. If you connect to your Office VPN, you may connect with another protocol such as PPTP. These are not used in commercial VPNs since they are less flexible and less efficient. Security is also better with OpenVPN. This is an important point as well. Pretty much all VPNs use the same software, which is OpenVPN. So a lot of differentiation is really about marketing. So pay less attention to the sales hype and focus on more practical advantages for you when choosing a VPN. And I'll explain that in, in another video. The next aspect to the VPN is the IP address. Here I'm using an IP checking website on Brax.me and it shows my home IP address here. Now, this is very bad because not only does, it, does the ISP know exactly who you are with this IP, but others will know who you are. This IP address can be consistent over a long period of time and will be your internet identification. Now let's turn the VPN on. Here, you can see the IP address after I turn the VPN on. As you can see, the IP address is now the IP address of the VPN server. In conclusion, a VPN will be successful at hiding your IP address. It will also do this for all of your traffic, whether it be web browsing, reading email, video streaming, FTP, Skype, and so on. Now, some of you may have heard of a proxy server, and that's being touted as some sort of substitute for a VPN. Proxy servers are very old tech. They've been around since the beginning of the internet because their function in the past was to speed up the internet by caching your content or storing a copy of websites you visit. By keeping a copy, someone on the same proxy server will not need to go to the website again to pick up new data. This reduces stress on the website and the internet appears to be going faster. If you use a proxy server, yes, your IP address will appear to be the IP address of the proxy. So in one way, it is similar to the VPN. But it falls far short. First problem, the IP address will change only on websites. It will not change on apps, email, or non-website traffic like Skype or FTP or video streaming or DNS, so you're very exposed. Watch my email headers video so you see what I'm talking about with your email headers revealing your IP address. Second, the proxy is not encrypted, so your traffic is visible to anyone in the middle, particularly your ISP or a hacker. This is the big benefit of, of a VPN. Third, as I mentioned, a proxy can track the websites you visit. And this is how a free proxy makes money. Same as a free VPN, which are actually really just proxies. So don't use a proxy. It does nothing for your security. You don't install any software when using a proxy. You just place the IP address of the proxy on your browser. So that's a clue that you're on a proxy server. If you don't install any software, you could be on a proxy. Now, let me show you another style of using a VPN. This time it's all hardware based. The VPN client software is on the router. So anytime you connect to the Wi-Fi router, you're automatically connected to the VPN. This is particularly trouble-free because you don't have to think about it. You're always safe and your entire family is always protected and your IP address is never revealed. Also, visitors who borrow your Wi-Fi will always pass through the VPN. So if visitors do things on the internet that they shouldn't be doing, it protects you by not revealing your IP address. You all need a VPN. Hiding an IP address is an important facet of internet safety, and there's no getting away from it. 
It is not the only thing you need for security, but it is a starting point. Check out bytesvpn.com, which is my company, and learn why this is a particularly stealthy VPN, a very important feature nowadays, and also comes with Tor routing and ad blocking options, so it has many extras. Please consider subscribing to my channel, folks. You will enjoy all my regular and frequent contents that I post on tech and security issues. Mm -hmm.